This build is the G23 with the B-series transmission and I have decided to uh, boost the motor. <laughs> it's good to be back on boost again. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sagitnet 2. Today's episode, I'm going to set my piston ring gaps for this Nippon Racing K20 turbo piston. I have everything laid out within the designated cylinder bores. But before I start doing that, let me just show you it's best to have a proper tooling when you are building a motor. Everyone knows that. But uh, a simplest form of tooling that you would have in your possession is at least a T gauge and dial caliper. In the past, I was building lots of motors, so that's the reason why I have this. You don't have to have this one. For new beginners that's just first time building one of these, if you have a block that you didn't really send to a machine shop and you're checking for piston ring gaps, setting your ring gaps, just be aware that the cylinder bores is kind of taper. That's the reason why you have to have a tool, at least a minimum tools required to at least do your checking first. I called the seller about where to uh, set these piston rings as far as the gap is concerned, the clearances, piston to wall clearance and everything. And this is what I got. The top ring, if I'm not over like 20 PSI, right around 18 to uh, 20,000. And then the second ring is about 22 to 24. Piston to wall clearance is almost OE. But again, those are just recommendation from Hasting. But I'm going to use them. I'm not really going to uh, bring it to the max because I know I'm not going to boost this motor more than 20 PSI. I think uh, out of my three motors that I have built um, on boost, it's always like 19 PSI. So I know I won't be going up that high. This is just to verify that the top and bottom are not really way off from each other that I don't have a, a taper cylinder bore like it out of limits or something I have zeroed this out earlier right there and from where the first top ring will be sitting it's somewhere around there and this will give me an idea about seven ten thousand or eight ten thousand difference so we know that there's a difference between the, the top and the bottom so when I place my piston rings if I put it like so and if I set my gap to about 20,000 by the time this piston rings made it all the way to the bottom it will be closer it can be like 19,000 at the bottom yeah that's the reason why I was just checking just to verify that I don't have so much difference on the cylinders like this one is zero again there this one is somewhere 1000 every line is five ten thousand so it's 1000 difference right here and for the cylinder walls about those shiny part 
right at the midsection those things those are caused by piston skirts I think I'm revving it too much too much revving to the moon I think that probably what caused it I'm gonna hone this a little bit get rid of that uh, shiny part because I want to start fresh make sure I'm not getting the same thing using the new turbo pistons what I'm gonna do I'm still going to uh, place this piston with the offset like F23 piston the intake reliefs of this K20 piston it will be facing the exhaust valves yeah I still wanted to uh, to do it that way because of the wrist pin offset so it will be a good uh, experiment I really would like to know what causing the issue piston to wall clearance this is a quick check remember that there's a difference between the bottom and the top part so I'm using a two and a half you know what I'll use 2000 I'll use 2000 first right there 2000 so place your piston together with your gauge and if you can pull it that'll be good same thing here right there that's 2000 a little bit loose on this side I'm gonna try 3000 Yeah, this one is too tight. That one is 3,000 there. Okay, so 3,000, by the time we get to the bottom, it will be different. It might be a little bit too much, right? 2,000. I think uh, OE is serviceable limit is 2000 i believe i could be wrong and uh you know let's go check this is the h22 and service limit is 2000 and since this is gonna be seeing some boost this will expand so i think i'll be okay my cylinder bores is not really out of limits as far as the uh, taper is concerned so I think I'll be all right okay so next is capping the rings start with number one so when you put this inside just put it like so ring gap facing that way put it in the middle right like that and I'm going to get a piston shove it on there now I'm going to square it right there it's about one inch all the way in the bottom you see that shiny part right there that's about an inch or so Casting is maximum is 20,000. That is just a recommendation. But I'm going to try 19. Yeah, I'll try 19. That 19 is not going in. Let's try 16. Yeah, 16. Okay, 16 is tight. 
I'm gonna place the ring on top and we'll see what we have. Right there. Yeah, 19,000 goes in. Sixteen and twenty is a little bit tight on top. So let's just say nineteen thousand on top. So that's the three thousand difference between the two. So now we know that there is really is a difference if you have a used block that you wanted to check your piston rings difference between the bottom and the top now I'm getting ready to uh, give it a uh, <laughs> a swirl the honing stone I have to make sure that this thing is flat so what I did I went on my uh, countertops place a sandpaper and just kind of polish it back and forth back and forth just to make sure that everything is all evened up and I wash it with uh, soap and water The cardboard is there for to protect the stone because if I go too deep I'm gonna start smacking the uh, there's a flange located within this area right here in between the cylinder walls once my stone go past under that it'll give it a shock and I could break my stone so it's a good practice to put those more like a protector I'm gonna go very light, light on oil. I don't want any of that grinding stone, that compound, that grinding compound to make it on my oil system and some vital parts. That's why. Plus, I'm only going to do a light hone. Now it really reveal the scratch, the straight line. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit more. I try not to, uh, when I stop, you'll see some people when they stop, they pull it out. I, I don't wanna do that. It's because of when you're doing that, you're widening this area right here. So when I stop, I just stop right from where I want it to, then squeeze this and pull it out. Yeah, because I don't want to widen the, uh, the wall as it is. So I have to clean my stone, get rid of the... Uh, Debris, spray some.
that's it I'm gonna stop right there okay that's good I'll go to the next That's enough polishing for me. It's a good fresh start. So I'm gonna clean it up. I'm using uh, transmission fluid. It's really good removing those uh, compound. Start removing those napkins that I put on there and put a fresh one. I can't really use uh, water and soap because of the crankshaft being there. Not bad. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, it is clean. But I'm going to uh, clean this some more. The last thing I want is to have that grinding compound getting mixed in into my old system. And there goes my build. I think I'm gonna first one I'm gonna set to 21,000 yeah that way when the piston ring goes down it's uh it will go to 18,000 which is minimum and OE 24,000 is serviceable limit so I'm still good and the second ring this is 22 to 24 and OE specs is about 30,000 I believe so I'm going to set this to maximum, which is 24,000. Yeah, that's my final numbers will be. All right, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys back. All right, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, hit that like button. Thank you all. Oh, you know what? Before I close this out, uh, one of my uh, subscribers was asking about something. You were asking about the length from end to end, right there. So it's past 19 and a half. And the chrome, it's about nine inches. Yeah. He lives overseas and they don't see a whole lot of this in their area. So he just wanted to uh, to know the exact dimensions. Okay, and this is where I close out this episode. And uh, thank you all. I'll see you guys. Bye bye.